Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you how we can display last exam results. As per example, if I give 5 exams, then I want to check my old results, then how can check my old result. So here first of all I am going to create new page. Old exam results.php then in header page we are going to give link here old exam results now here we are going to copy all the code of this demo and I'm going to paste here then here we are going to write session start then we need to include here our connection file yeah that's fine now here we need to write condition then I am going to start PHP and PHP here I am going to write mysqli underscore query dollar link select star from we need to give our table name so our table name is exam results where username is equal to dollar underscore session username order by id descending yeah now i am going to take here one count variable dollar count is equal to zero dollar count is equal to mysqli number of rows dollar res we are going to check how many exams result we have we have available for this user here I am going to give one heading tag h1 all exams results yeah fine we are going to check how it looks so here this is the link yeah now we need to give this in center so I can use here center tag Yeah, that's fine now here I am going to give condition if dollar count is equal to is equal to zero it means no result available then we can write like this let me complete PHP start PHP and here you can, co you can copy this center text paste here and we can write here no results found yeah if result is not available then otherwise we are going to display in table format so now here we are going to write echo table echo slash table then echo tr echo slash tr this tr is for basically for heading so here I am going to take echo th and echo slash th yeah now we are going to check how many columns we have we don't need to display this id so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so I am going to take 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 yeah so I copy this 6 heading now here we are going to write our column name so first of all is username then our second column name is exam type so here I can give exam type this is a heading so we don't need to write exit our column name we can, you can write anything now total question so here I am going to write total question then correct answer so I am going to write here correct answer then we are going to write here a wrong answer and now I am going to take exam time exam time yeah that's fine now we are going to write here while dollar row is equal to mysqli underscore fetch underscore array then dollar is now we are going to load our records from table column so now I am going to copy this now here we need to give TD
and here also we need to give slash td and now we are going to remove this and here we need to write echo dollar row and here we need to pass our table colon name so first of all i am going to copy paste oh. paste okay so now this is the column name so i am going to copy column name yeah just copy this paste here copy this paste here copy this yeah that's fine now in here in tr first of all i'm going to show you here you can see we got this now we are going to make formatting so here i am going to give table class table then table bordered so now you can see it looks good now we are going to change the color of this heading so here background color we are going to set same like this so i have one color detector tool so i am going to check this color yeah 006 df0 so has 006 df0 and now we are going to set color it means font color white yeah you can see so now this looks good so this way we can display the old exam results in next video i am going to show you how we can make this logout button active and then after we are going to give condition over here thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again